Power is back on for people living on the west side of Claremore after they lost power for hours. Thanks for staying with us at 930. I'm Jonathan Cooper and I'm Tatum Gwynn. News on Six's Matt Ron says he played a role in damaging a substation there and caused problems at a veterans center. Power has been back on since last night, but crews here in Claremore have been at this substation here on North Highway 88 all day, making repairs and monitoring the situation. The city says the power outage was caused by a mechanical issue made worse by the hot weather. Homes and businesses on the west side of town were affected. Well, the first thing you always think of is what happened in Claremore this time. And then uh, is our generator going to kick on and take care of everything? James Baltutis is the assistant director of nurses at the Claremore Veterans Center and says having reliable power is a must. We can't provide care without electricity, you know, either for maintaining the environment for the residents or providing them care. It's just not possible without it. He says generators help them keep essentials powered up, like oxygen machines and IVs. Even giving medication requires power. It's hard to pass medication, it's hard to chart, you can't do any of those things unless you pull out paper charts, which makes it a lot more complicated. Nurse Haley Jones takes care of dozens of veterans here and says after serving our country, they should be comfortable. They deserve the best care, absolutely, and without any obstacles because they've already had enough. The city says its obstacle at the substation has been fixed, but it is still asking residents to utilize energy saving methods during this heat wave. In Claremore, Matt Ron, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.